Hello, welcome to Fighters Only Television. I'm John Joe Regan. I'm standing here in Stockholm, Sweden, with August Wallen from the newly formed or newly announced International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, uh, which was revealed today. August, can you tell us a little bit about the organisation and uh, the purpose behind it? And the purpose is to organise and help to organise uh, MMA internationally. Uh, in most countries, there is no national federation and to uh, to organize this properly and be recognized as a true sport uh, we need to have national federations and we need to have an international federation that recognizes the national federations and in practical terms what will the, the newly formed federation do will you be liaising with national governments and sporting organizations and such um, the first year will focus more or less completely on uh, supporting and helping to build national federations and in those countries that that's difficult uh, the bu bureaucracy in some countries it could take three years to build a, uh, to build a federation uh, we will want uh, national representatives uh, I think one year one and a half that will be the focus uh, those national federations will be able to sanctioning events which means events could be held in for example France uh, which is not possible right now um, then next goal is to uh, arrange international competitions on amateur level amateur MMA to have a world championship and uh, when we have a world championship and we are worldwide we can apply for sport accord to be recognized as a sport by sport accord and that is uh, that's the first big goal we have. Olympic status, of course, is something you're looking for for long term, but that's hard to control for many reasons. But building national federations, getting international competitions, and getting recognized by the sport accord, that's an important thing. So the amateur thing, the amateur fighting side is actually uh, quite a key focus for the federation, it sounds like. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the fans are looking to, uh, of course, the professional promotions like UFC. Uh, UFC needs national federations to, uh, to sanctioning them. So, uh, and national federations often need uh, an international federation to recognize them. So the, the professional side needs an international federation too. But to be recognized as a sport by the sport accord, we have to have an amateur side and uh, that's why we want to build uh, the amateur events as well i think it's very important to have a, a like a pyramid we call it safety ladder in sweden in i think mma is one of the few sports you go from zero to uh, professional i mean if if you just get your driving license how big chances you would put yourself into a formula one car and drive a formula one race in three or three hundred kilometers an hour that's not so likely. You mm. will go up through smaller races, not so fast cars, do you know what I mean? More safety measures until you're ready for it. Uh, MMA has been built a little bit backwards. You take football, uh, soccer in, in the US. I mean, has built on grassroots, people playing in the backyards. You get different teams in the same city playing against each other and then uh, cities against cities and countries against countries and when it's worldwide someone starts a professional promotion uh, built on a huge pyramid of you know amateurs MMA the professional circuit started first and below there's somewhere some places there are things like in Sweden for example other other places there are no competitions whatsoever and I think it's uh, important for the growth of the sport and, and also safety that there is a pyramid and uh, anyone training MMA should be able to compete on their level. Well, I see. How is this going to work now? Because, like you say, the sport was kind of built backwards, but it's established that I live in the UK. If I had a few thousand pounds, I can go and hire a venue, collect some fighters together, get a cage, stage a, a pro rules event, headshots on the floor, elbows, everything. There's nothing to stop me. At the local, the, the mayor, the council maybe can put the foot down and stop the event for licensing or alcohol reasons, but there's no um, there's no sanctioning body to stop me. What would be my incentive to become involved with the Federation? Mm. I, I got a question from another journalist that was active in the UK as well, just who would stop it, and I, I don't think we should stop it. Mm. I think how, how something should be controlled in, in a country, that's about the legal situation in that country. In Sweden, it's built so that 
the, everyone has to be a member of the federation and the federation is sanctioning all the events. It's how it is by law in Sweden. The, the laws in other countries are different. You know, in UK you have other laws, but there is still incentives to be a member of an MMA federation. And, and that is building the sport, getting recognized. You have something called Sport England, I think, in the UK. And it would be nice if the sport you were doing were recognized like a true sport by Sport England. It could be nice. Someone say, OK, you're doing MMA, that's a real sport. That could be nice. That's an incentive. Then you should be active in the national federation that's going to be built up. Um, also, you're talking about promotions. Promotions, your goal, which is nothing bad, is to make profit. That's a company. A company's goal is to make profit. Then it can sell cars or, you know, have a MMA promotion. And there's nothing bad with that. But what we need to build is the federation side, which is democratic, non-profit, neutral body. And how, how that will be in the long run, that's about the legal situation. I see hundreds of reasons of uh, organizing the sport and organizing together in national federations and starting international competitions, you know, on amateur level. Uh, it doesn't have to be only a question about sanctioning events because I think in some countries like Sweden and others that will be a main concern. In other countries where it's not regulated it will be of no concern, I think. How did the Federation come to get the backing of the UFC? Because previously these, these bodies have um, come together and purported to be creating like a global uh, or international federation to govern martial arts such as uh, WAMA that uh, sanctioned the affliction MMA belts but they've gone nowhere I would say primarily because the UFC wasn't involved which kind of made them irrelevant the fact that the UFC is involved with your federation makes it extremely relevant how did that come around? First I want to say I understand you want to say your federation you know this is uh, in the long run is the members federation that, that who owns it and it's uh, completely democratic and non-profit uh, the federation you talked about I don't know how it's organized I don't know at all about the legal status is it a company is it an association it's it non-profit is it democratic that's that's uh, a major factor i think the reason uh, formally that the ufc are supporting us is that they know for sure that this is a democratic non-profit neutral independent federation there's no interest of making money, there's no interest of arranging professional events or anything. It's not an interest of getting high sanctioning fees so someone can, you know, get money. That's an important thing. They know that this is a true federation with passion for the sport. Now, how do they know that? That's because we've been working together for many years to, to get the UFC here. And we did that out of completely no self-interest whatsoever. We want the biggest promotion in the world to come here. We think that would be great for the Swedish market. And we stopped the ban here in Sweden and managed to get MMA into the uh, sports uh, federation, which means it's recognized here. We managed to get permits for amateur MMA and for uh, unified rules, permanent permits. And they see what we have done and that we've done it with no self-interest and they have known us for six, seven years. Right. So their interest is, oh, you're doing something really good here. Would you be interested in doing that in other countries? Which, of course, we are. We want to build it um, in, in, in this way. So it's our track record. So actually people who think that the UFC Sweden card was suddenly announced and came out of the blue, that's actually been worked on for a number of years. Yeah, we've been working a long time to get it here. It's so many things. We need to have permits for the rules. That took a while. We need to uh, have a venue free when it fits UFC's calendar. That's not so easy, you know. It's a lot of things to, to be done. But the, um, the rules, I think we had one and a half year permits for. But we, the goal we set seven years ago, where we were facing a ban, you know, for full contact martial arts. In, in Sweden, and we said now we have to stop this, we have to do something, we have to be recognized, we have to organize ourselves. And the long time goal is to have UFC in the globe, haha, <laughs> because that felt like impossible. It was like the ultimate goal, and it felt like that's never gonna happen. Seven years later, it's over there, mm -hmm. the globe.
and USC is there. So it is not impossible, it just takes hard work and a lot of passion. And UFC has seen that hard work and that passion, and that's why they know that we're going to continue in that fashion. So this must be a very proud day for you as well, and personally. It is a proud day, of course. Um, for me, this is just another step into my passion for MMA. So I'm, I'm very happy for this. I think it's uh, huge that uh, UFC is supporting us. Uh, I think it's very important to understand that they are not sponsoring us. They don't get anything back from us. They are donating, they are going out and supporting us officially, but we're totally independent and the Federation is going to do what the board is voting and the board is going to be voted you know, uh, by the members. So, um, but it's in everyone's interest that this board gets organized on an international level. So it's the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation that was launched this week here in Sweden and if people want more information is there a website they can visit? Yeah, it's immaf.org. August, thank you very much for the time and uh, best of luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you.